Hey guys, really quickly before I get started, I want to talk about my deep tissue body butter that I make and I have been getting a lot of requests for. So I'm including my link to my website down below and my online store is up and running. This is a new endeavor for me. I'm super excited about it. I hope that you give it a shot. It has transformed the way that I work. So if you want to try something new, give me a shout out, send me a message, let me know and send your clients away happy. It seems to make my clients happy. I hope it does for you too. Okay, so today I am painting the peroneal muscles, which are sometimes known as the fibularis muscles, because they lie on the fibula, which I'm painting right now. I've painted the rest of the tibia and all those bones of the foot earlier for my tibialis anterior video, which you can access by clicking right here. To get started with the peroneals, I'm actually dividing the fibula off into thirds. The peroneus brevis, which is the first one I'm starting to paint, originates at the distal two-thirds of the lateral fibula. So I'm starting here, painting it coming down all the way behind the lateral malleolus and into the foot. I started using white first to paint this muscle because it is such a tenderness muscle that I was thinking I would just enhance the red fibers of the muscle with the red paint and keep the white as the tenderness attachments, but as you'll see in a second, I just paint over this with red. Um, but the peroneus brevis comes down and actually inserts into the tuberosity of the fifth metatarsal, which is a little bit difficult to see from this angle, but the bigger picture idea is that this muscle comes down and really supports the lateral ankle. So so if anybody out there has sprained their ankle, most likely it was an inverted sprain and most likely there was some damage to this tendon and your peroneus longus tendon, along with some ligaments. Just adding a little shading here. As I make a valiant attempt to paint on the ripped skin that has been pulled away to expose the peroneus brevis, <laughs> I um, want to show you the peroneus brevis and talk really quickly about the fact that there is also a peroneus tertius, which I have not painted here, but it's really on the front of the lateral malleolus and is considered a short branch of the extensor digitorum longus. And this video is on the peroneals, so I'm sticking with the peroneals. And now I'm starting with the peroneus longus, which is more superficial to the peroneus brevis and originates at the head of the fibula and the proximal two-thirds of the lateral fibula, which is why I painted off those third sections at the beginning of the video, if you remember way back when. Again, this is a super tendinous muscle, and if you feel these muscles on the side of your lower leg, they feel like really thick ropes, and surprisingly enough, can hold a lot of trigger points and can be held responsible for a lot of ankle pain, which sometimes can go unexplained. I obviously thought you could see through my hand here to get a sense of the tendinous attachment onto the head of the fibula. Not sure what I was thinking. As I start to shade this muscle in, you'll notice that it was named the longus, not only because it comes up higher, but it also goes down lower. So it actually reaches across the other attachment site for the brevis and goes all the way to the base of the first metatarsal and the medial cuneiform, which happens to be the exact same attachment for the tibialis anterior. These two muscles work beautifully together to evert the foot and to plantar flex the foot. Here is a more up close and personal view. Focus, camera. The longus is on top, the brevis is underneath. They both come behind the lateral malleolus, pull the foot into eversion, and pull the foot down into plantar flexion. Offering a different perspective, I wanted you to see the relationship between the tibialis anterior and the two peroneals. Because as I come down to the bottom of the foot, which I don't think has been quite clear yet, you can see those attachment points joining together and forming what's called the stirrup. So we have the stirrup in our foot. It's pretty cool. Click the thumbs up button if you like this video and click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And don't forget to click on my website. Try out a new body butter. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it. The fans are going wild. <laughs> I can't do that.